Yo, what's up you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again, and today we're going to talk to you about Ableton Live 9.5. Now, this is just a beginner's tutorial. We know that the software can look a little confusing at first and it can be a bit overwhelming if you don't know what you're doing, but trust me, after we break this down to you, you're going to be a whiz at it. All right, so for a little intro, the first things that you need to know about Ableton Live are that there are two different views. There is Clip View, which we are currently in right now, and if you follow my mouse, this is arrangement view. Now the difference between the two, arrangement view is more so after you've constructed all the patterns or the clips that you like, you can arrange them into a song where you'll have an intro, verse, hook, bridge, etc., etc. So after that, you can go back to clip view. Now in clip view, as you can see, anytime you open a new Ableton Live project, you're given two MIDI tracks, you're given two audio tracks, a reverb track, a delay track and a master track. Now, say if you're you're ready to go, you want to start adding sounds, you want to put together this masterpiece that you have in your head, first thing you do is you go over to a MIDI track. Now, say if you don't want to use your push right now and you just want to hurry up and load a plug-in on the fly. If you look at this section section right here, this is the categories for all the different sounds that Ableton has. Now, notice right here, these are the sounds that come with the software. I just have the uh, first version of it, not the standard or the suite. So I just have the basic sounds. But if you get the suite or if you get uh, the standard version, you'll have more sounds. But that's neither here nor there. Now, say I don't want to use Ableton sounds. I want to go down to a real plugin. OK, so this is the plugins list like right here. And let's say I'm feeling kind of creative. So I want to add massive. The cool thing about Ableton is if I want to add massive, I don't have to double click it. I can just drag it. And as you can see, Massive has loaded just like that. Now I can start tweaking with it. I can start playing synths and I can start making that masterpiece. Going back again. All right, so I have my plugin now, right? Well, after I have my synth, I need some drums, okay? So the cool thing about Ableton is kind of like the MPC or machine, they have something called a drum rack, right? So a drum rack is the tool that you use where you can load up all your drum sounds. So I just drag it to the second MIDI track and notice that this thing came up at the bottom. All right, so part of clip view is generally your uh, effects will cascade across this section right here and also your piano rolls. So you'll be able to scroll using this function down here. You'll be able to see it shortly. But this is the drum rack. So anytime I wanna add some drums, I can just add them to these separate individual pads right here and they'll play kind of like the MPC or the machine again that has the 16 pads. All right, so say if I just want to add. All right, I want to add a sound right here. I want to add a sound right there. I want to add a sound right here. Doesn't matter. Now, notice when I hit them, you can't hear anything. So let's kind of double back right quick. All right, if you're in Ableton, you have your sounds loaded up for some reason, but you're noticing you're not hearing anything. The first thing you want to do is check the preferences. You want to check your inputs and your outputs and see if everything is matching up. So we hit command comma. That brings up our preferences. And then we want to go to our audio. All right, we're here already, actually. So our audio section shows where the audio is coming out. Now I'm recording from an external mic. But Ableton is using the built-in microphone and the built-in output, which is why you don't hear any sounds coming through. That's okay. What we do is we switch, all right? We go down to what I'm using right now, which is a mobile preamp. We click that as the output, and we click that as the input. I got them reversed, but you can see. So now mobile preamp is our output device and our input device, which means that the audio is coming in through the mobile preamp and coming out the mobile preamp. So now you guys should be able to hear. So we exit out of this. And just like that, you have sound. All right. Now to kind of demonstrate what I was saying about the clip view, uh, we can go ahead and just add a couple more things. It doesn't really matter. Uh, you know, a hi-hat here and a kick. Okay. So we got all the sounds we're going to use, right? Let's go ahead and make us a clip.
All right, notice Ableton made our clip and the piano roll popped up just like I said. At this point from the push, if everything is kind of offbeat, you can just press the quantize button and Ableton will lock it in depending on what your quantize settings are. All right, and if we go back up, notice that a clip was created. It was created on the second slot because that's the slot I was on right now. But if there was one in the top slot, Ableton will launch it by me just clicking up or by just using my mouse to click the play button right here. So as you can see, these are, these are pretty much the basics right now. So we don't want to take too much time. We know that it can get a little uh, bothersome when videos run long. So we're going to continue this tutorial in the next video. This was just a general overview to show you kind of where everything is in live. Very last thing, say with this track right here, if we want to press mute, just look at the channel strip and press this button right here and that'll mute the track. Uh, as you can see, everything else is up here for arrangement view. As far as your controls, if you want to start recording, press stop, play. This will tell you what bar you're on. You can rewind it to the beginning. This is the metronome. It'll give you a count in depending. It's two bar count in right now. And of course, your tempo button on the push, you can tap to tempo. But yeah, with that, we're going to go ahead and leave you guys alone and let you click on the next video. Please remember to subscribe to Drum Machine Addicts. And also, if you have any questions, go to drummachineaddicts at gmail.com with your questions. If you want us to do certain videos, etc., etc. All right, going to stop talking now. You guys have a nice day and look out for the next video. We are gone.